Hey everyone, I'm Bill. I'm with Cali Moto TV. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the garage where today I have put together the ultimate collection of must have tools for everybody's motorcycle garage. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, smash the like button, and ring that bell notification because if you guys don't already know, well, I do a lot of work here in my own motorcycle garage. I build my own bikes, I do my own maintenance, and over the years I have figured out the final collection of must have tools for anybody's motorcycle garage. These tools are going to make your life easier. They're gonna make your jobs a lot easier. They're gonna go by a lot faster. And well, they don't really cost that much money. So without further ado, let's walk through step-by-step step the top five must have tools for your motorcycle garage. Number five. All right, so I'm not gonna go in any specific order. Uh, basically, I'm gonna start with the newest toy that I've gotten, but I've got the five out here. But the newest one that I've got, and for you guys that are uh, familiar with the channel, you know I've been looking for a new torque wrench. And uh, I found this guy, and uh, it was very intriguing because I'm, I was looking for something that I can do uh, foot pounds and inch pounds, also Newton meters. But also I was looking for inch pounds for quarter inch stuff. So what's nice about this unit is it's got a half inch ratchet on the end, okay? You can use any half inch ratchet or you can even use a breaker bar if you really need to go up to the max 150 pound feet of torque on this thing. So it's very, very nice. So once you get this thing on and you get this thing fired up, so we've got a, you know, a zero. It's real nice because if you look down here, you can hit the units and you can switch from Newton meters to inch pounds to foot pounds. And then you can also go into uh, a different setting where you can actually have presets. So you can have a preset of number one, which we've got preset at 15 pound feet of a torque. So we're gonna start with this one. So let's go ahead into here. And what we're gonna do is uh, just for just demonstration purposes, we've got our Ducati wheel uh, adapter here. And we're gonna go over to the front of the Ducati and we're gonna mount this thing on here. And right at the top, you're gonna notice that the thing is already starting to work. So here's one of the things that's really nice about this is it gives you guys, as you get closer to your torque setting, it starts to give you the beeps and the lights. And once we hit 15, it gives us a steady beep. And then that's it, you're all set. So obviously for all intensive demonstration purposes, we're just, um, that would be more like 60 pound feet of torque, but um, very, very cool. It's, you know, kind of big, but realistically, it's it's very, very nice. So, um, so far, I've really, really liked this, this torque adapter. And it's very nice. It's got a backlit to it. So it's got a little light to it. Push and hold, turns it off. So very, very cool. If you guys don't want to invest in multiple torque wrenches that gives you quarter inch, three eighths, half inch, pound feet, inch pounds, Newton meters, this thing does it all. Number four. All right, so I found these a couple of years ago and boy, have they just been a lifesaver. These are brake pad or caliper piston pushers. So uh, this one is a little handheld one. I don't use this one much unless I just gotta jimmy it in just enough to push the brake pads and pistons back into the caliper so I can get it to fit on the rotor. Um, I usually, don't, again, don't use this much because I don't wanna mar it up, but it gives me just enough room to get in there and squeeze them back. But whenever I'm doing a set of brakes, this is number one tool I pull out. It goes into the, uh, into the caliper and as you widen it, you can see it's opening up. It evenly pushes your brake pads and pistons back into the caliper. Now, uh, I use this for the bikes and I just did the Super Beast and it actually worked really, really well. So if you guys don't have this tool, it is going to save you guys so much time with brake jobs. 
please get this tool. Number three. Now I've always used a basic, just a tube and a catch can for a bleeder. I never understood how much time and effort a power bleeder is going to save you for a couple different reasons. So a power bleeder, what it is, is you hook it up to any air source and basically you hook it up to your brake bleeder. Crack that brake bleeder open and pull this trigger and it is a one-way valve that is going to suck your brake fluid out of your pistons and bleed all of the air out without letting any air back into the system. So the power bleeders are very, very nice. Now on bikes, it's a little bit easier on bikes because the you know, masters are right there so you can pump, pump, bleed, pump, pump, bleed, which is kind of the old school. But when you're doing like your cars or your trucks, these power bleeders are very, very nice. Now they second as an additional little tool and that is you can actually pull this little end off which I do quite often and I can actually put this into say your brake master uh, reservoir and you can actually suck out all of your fluid any fluid if you guys look kind of close you can see it's a little red right now well that's because I took out uh, a pint of uh, fluid out of the uh, Corvair and sucked it right out of the transmission. So you can see I just took out a quart to put a little uh, uh, additive in there. So power bleeders, very, very nice, very, very handy. You're gonna love having this in your collection here in the motorcycle garage. Number two. All right, now we move on to our chains and these pesky little things. Sure can be a pain in the butt. Now, uh, it has taken me a little bit of time to put together these tools and figure out how to do a chain swap the easiest. Now we've got a chain here for uh, demonstration purposes. And you can see I've got a basic cheap little tool chain toolkit. And I really actually only use this toolkit to put rivets back together. I never use this to break the chain, okay? Because the likeliness is uh, it's gonna be very hard. So this isn't the tool necessarily that you're going to wanna have, but if you are doing a lot of chain swaps, a nice tool kit, uh, a chain kit is nice. But this little guy, oh, this has been an absolute lifesaver. Now, what this is, is it's got a little claw there on the bottom that is actually going to crimp onto your chain, okay? And once you've got it crimped onto the chain, let's see if I can get a little bit lower. Once you actually grind off, so what I do is when I'm doing a chain break, I'll grind off the ends, but I've gotta push this pin out of the chain to be able to break it. So this actually goes right on there, and you're gonna twist this, and voila, it's going to actually push the pin out of the chain. So now you've got your chain broken and it is going to save you guys a bunch of time and a bunch of headache by getting this pin out. And then now your chain is loose and you can pull it off. So this little tool, definitely a lifesaver if you're doing a lot of chain and chain conversion kits. So definitely get this one. Number one. All right, well, our newest little tool, BPA Racing. This is an impulse purchase off of the Facebook Marketplace. Um, I saw this tool and I said, where have you been all of my life? This little tool is actually a chain slack adjustment tool. Now, you guys are gonna be like, chain slack adjustment, like just eyeball it, right? Well, there's a lot of different ways that you can eyeball the chain slack adjustment. But wouldn't it be nice to be able to have a tool that can tell you when your slack is perfect every single time? Well, the BPA allows this. So let's get over into the Ducati. Let's slap this on and show you guys just how this thing works. All right, so here we have the BPA chain slack adjuster. And uh, you'll see here, it's a pretty simple tool. It's pretty simple and easy to use. Now, you are gonna have to adjust the, uh, the adjustment point, the pointer in the front, 
before you get to it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna obviously find the right slack in either your chain here or your chain on whichever motorcycles you're gonna be changing. And then you set this. Uh, BPA has made it very, very easy and simple to uh, instruct you how to do that. Uh, so uh, this Ducati chain has got 400 miles on it, so it's pretty new, um, but it looks like it's got the proper amount of slack. And so we're gonna check this slack with the BPA reader. Now you're gonna take this and you're gonna mount it just on the top of the chain. This is gonna go on the bottom of the chain. And if you notice, it's gonna fall right in the ridges. And then you're gonna take this bottom piece and you're actually going to pull it up and set it on the top of the chain. So here we've got the chain slack adjuster tool set. And if you look there right in the middle, it's dead perfect. Now, if that pointer was pointing this way, you can see the squiggly line basically tells you that there is too much slack or if it is pointing this way, it's too tight and you gotta take it loose. So very, very simple, very easy uh, tool to use. If you guys are taking your wheels off, if you guys are doing chain adjustments, um, this is definitely gonna help keeping your proper chain slack correct. All right, well, there you have it. The top five must have motorcycle tools for your motorcycle garage. And let me tell you, these things are worth their weight in gold. The savings and time and headaches, uh, just trust me, you guys have to have these tools. Now, I've put together a nice link for the five tools in the description down below. Uh, it is an Amazon link that's gonna basically take you to each one of these tools. All of these tools I bought on my own. Uh, I don't get paid anything by these companies. These are tools that I've found that I love, but I'm sure that I'm missing some tools. So let me know in the comment section down below what your favorite motorcycle tool is and how it saves you time and your headaches. And uh, I don't know, maybe someday we'll do a top 10 video of the must have motorcycle tools for your garage. But uh, thank you guys for sticking around. Do the normal, hit the subscribe button, smash the like button and ring that bell notification because we've got a lot of stuff going on in the garage right now. We've got the 2021 Ducati V2 is on the lift for some mods. We've got a full MT-03 build that's in full swing right now. We're wrapping up the uh, 2020 Street Fighter V4S. The Aprilia Tuano is gonna get some brake upgrades soon. Plus I have two brand new motorcycles on order that should be in any time and you guys aren't going to wanna miss these. So thank you guys for sticking around and hanging out with me in the garage for the top five must have motorcycle tools. And uh, we'll see you guys next video. Bye guys.